check me out on Twitter at Total Tutor and NeilHaley.com. And I'm excited to welcome the program Eugene Simon. We know him from Game of Thrones now, uh, Genius. Uh, Eugene, thanks for calling National Geographic's Genius. I'm excited to chat with you. And this is such an exciting uh, project, don't you think so? I mean, I, I look forward to watching this for sure. Thank you very much, Neil, for having me. I appreciate it. And yes, you're absolutely right. I've just come from the uh, the premiere last night in Los Angeles, and I was then the premiere in New York watching the first episode. And um, no, Ron Howard, uh, Brian Glazer, and of course, Jeffrey Rush, Albert Einstein have done an absolutely wonderful job. I'm a very lucky man to be playing Edward Einstein. Very lucky indeed. Absolutely. And uh, uh, just to kind of talk about, again, this is uh, uh, the whole thing about... uh, learning more and more about Einstein's life. It's it's such fascinating as a young, uh, when he was young too, to kind of learn about how he grew up and what made him who he is, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is a show that will jump between essentially two time zones. First time zone will be Albert Einstein, played by Johnny Flynn, in his uh, early, uh, in his formative years, in his kind of early to late, early 20s to mid 30s. And then it'll jump to Jeffrey Rush's performance, uh, you know, in his kind of 45 plus years. Um, And I played a role of um, Albert Einstein's second son. Edward Einstein, who, um, uh, amongst other things, was a very gifted musician, a very gifted uh, aspiring psychiatrist who uh, absolutely adored uh, Sigmund Freud and all of his writings, uh, but unfortunately someone who suffered very heavily from schizophrenia. Oh, wow. Okay. So, again, so, and and this, we're going to kind of learn about your character in a way, dealing with Albert and how possibly how Albert acted led to to some of uh, the schizophrenia and stuff, you think? Kind of having a father that uh, brilliant? Yeah. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, Absolutely. A lot of um, the two episodes that I feature in, as Edward Einstein, episode five and eight, and really um, the discussion, the kind of subject matter of particularly episode five is to do with this idea of the pioneering years of mental health treatment where people didn't fully understand the disorder that they were dealing with, you know, were they dealing with multiple personality disorder, were they dealing with bipolar disorder, were they dealing with schizophrenia. And it is about how Edward Einstein, because he adored Sigmund Freud and his psychoanalytical attitude to mental health, it's about how he tried to use his intellect to sort of psychoanalyze himself out out of the abandonment and the trauma and the neuroses that he felt had been thrust upon him by his father not being there when he wanted him to be there. However, unfortunately, in real life, um, Edward Einstein ended up in Burgosley Insane Asylum um, for print from it from twenty year, twenty years old for almost the rest of his life. Oh, on and off. Wow. And in there, it is believed, yeah, it's very unfortunate, and he underwent hydrotherapy, electrotherapy, insulin therapy, you know, all of these horrible treatments um, that often made it worse for the patient. Um, and in brief, it is very possible, it's believed that he met Carl Jung when he was in Bogota Insane Asylum. And as you will see in episode five, there is a lot about how Edward meets Carl Jung and discusses his father and his mental illness. Wow, it's very interesting. And I think uh, to go and look at Einstein's life and then just talk about your character and just to know the effects he had on his family is just fascinating because we all think of Einstein as, you know, what he was able to to discover, what he was able to create, not, you know, he he had a regular life like everyone else, Eugene. And I think that's this is what this story is about so that we'll learn about all the characters that are around Albert and how Albert reacted on a day-to-day basis, not just in his work. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Neil. I mean, you you will be very startled by how uh, you change your view of the kind of Albert Einstein that we know sticking out his tongue in front of a chalkboard covered, covered in mathematical theory. You know, this is a man who who, um, married out of wedlock in his years, had a daughter, never saw that daughter because she died or is believed to have died in his pursuit. 
He then married the woman he, that he, uh, he had a daughter with, had two boys who no one knew almost anything about, had a very difficult marriage, got divorced, moved away from the family, leaving his children behind with their mother, became uh, the, you know, the physicist that we all know, divorced again, remarried to uh, his cousin, Elsa Einstein. I mean, the story, the, 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 the personal drama of Albert Einstein's life is worthy of a hundred books. And in this series, we will attempt to cover as much of his life as we possibly can. And the, one of the great inspirations for doing this series was the book written by a man named Walter Isaacson, who yes. recently released the biography of Albert Einstein. And I recommend reading it, actually. It's a wonderful book. All right, so it's all going to happen uh, tonight. It starts out, so you're going to be in later episodes, So, but you're going to be really tuning in because it seems like there's a lot of th- – this cast is gigantic. Right for the whole the whole series, yeah. I was on, I was on IMBD checking yeah. that out. It's a gigantic cast of people, so different stories, different storylines based on the time period and the certain characters that Albert dealt with in his life. Right? Yes, absolutely. I think there are roughly about three hundred cars. <laughs> Wow, my gosh. Wow. And and these are very, very talented people of the three hundred you said that were cast, right? For this for this uh for for this they series. Are wonderful people. I mean the actors the the actors have jumped in to play characters that um, you know, they they've uh, had to rather like me just dive into and do research given the amount of time they were offered. And um I have seen footage that has just completely blown my mind. I mean I can say with as much objectivity as possible because I'm only you know, I'm not in all the episodes. It is absolutely staggering. It's visually such really, I mean, the, the director's photography on all of this was just extraordinary. Um and um no, this is going to be in a very impressive series, I should say, with um with the with humble uh sincerity. All right, so everyone needs to tune in April 25th. Check out and follow Eugene to find out when his episodes are going to air. And the best place we can find information on you, Eugene, is where can we go? We could check you out on Twitter and stuff, all, all the different well, social media. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, if, you look, if you'd like to follow me, um, first of all, go on to Twitter, and you can find me at Eugene underscore Simon. So that's on Twitter, and you'll get lots of updates about Genius there. And on Instagram, you can just find me on one word, Eugene Snap. And uh, I'll be happy to. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys there. Absolutely. Well, Eugene, best of luck. Uh, good talk to you. I know a lot of other projects. Soon Game of Thrones again. Yeah, it, it just all come. You just continue to stay busy, don't you? Absolutely. No. <laughs> Keeping busy is always very good. All right. Take care, Eugene. Thanks for calling, man. See ya. Okay. Thanks bye-bye. so much. Oh, sorry. You're welcome. Bye. You're listening to the Neil Haley Show, and we'll be back in just a moment.